Big Cass is a relative newcomer to WWE, but he seems to have all the skills necessary to make it big. Standing at a build height of 7 feet tall, Cass is a size to be a dominant big man in wrestling, and although his partner in crime Enzo handles most of the talking, Cass can handle his own on the mic as well. Due to popular demand, this week Wrestling Up presents Wrestling Origins Big Cass. William Morrissey was born on August 16, 1986 in Queens, New York. As a kid, William was a big fan of wrestling. He said that he fell in love with it after attending a show just before Wrestlemania 8 in 1992. He was a huge Hulk Hogan fan and also was a big supporter of Bret Hart. However, when he attended Survivor Series in 1996, he jumped ship from Hart to Stone Cold Steve Austin, as that was who the rest of the crowd was cheering for. Morrissey would attend Archbishop Malloy High School where he did a lot of work in the community. For example, he worked as a homeless shelter volunteer and a peer tutor. He was also a member of the National Honor Society while playing sports, most notably basketball as well. Before his junior year in high school, William stood at just 5'8", but that summer he just shot up. He grew about 8 inches in just a few months, which changed everything. His friends were astounded at how big he had gotten, as was everybody else. William was already playing basketball in high school, but this growth spurt meant he became a real threat on the court. An interesting tidbit, William used to play pickup basketball in New York at a place called The Cage. This was where he first met Enzo Amore, who he says was a big trash talker. Enzo backed up William after a dispute and ended up going out for pizza afterwards. They went to separate colleges thus didn't really keep in touch, but they would eventually reconnect, as you know, in the WWE. In his senior year, William would be part of the Catholic High School Athletic Association Senior Classic All-Star Game. This allowed him to prove how good he was at basketball, and even helped him land a scholarship with New York University. William would attend university, but says now that in the back of his mind he always wanted to be a wrestler. William would study science with some economics classes on the side and was pre-med, as in he was on track to eventually become a doctor. His parents had always wanted him to go to medical school, so William says that's why he went that route, but things changed in his junior year. As he was studying for the MCAT, the medical college admissions test, he says he realized that his heart wasn't in it and that he couldn't handle another four years. He would write the MCAT, but wouldn't continue any further. While he was attending NYU, Morrissey played as a center for the basketball team from 2005 to 2009. He wasn't the greatest player the sport had ever seen, but standing at 6'8", he was able to rebound quite well. He was a reserve most of his career, but in the 2008-2009 season he served as co-captain. Interesting fact, his NYU athletics profile mentions that he is an avid wrestling fan and that he hopes to attend medical school. Anyways, after graduating from NYU, Morrissey would use his business knowledge to start a ticket brokerage company that specialized in selling tickets to events at Yankee Stadium and Madison Square Garden. Apparently, William also worked as a street performer in the subways of New York City, possibly as a singer. Eventually, William decided to give up on these side jobs and pursue his dream of wrestling in 2010. He started researching wrestling schools in the area and discovered one in Brooklyn run by WWE Hall of Famer Johnny Rods. William would join up at Gleason's gym and began training with Johnny himself. He was immediately paired up with a veteran wrestler named Bad Billy Walker, a cowboy character who was the main eventer in World of Unpredictable Wrestling. Morrissey would be given the ring name of Big Bill Young, Walker's nephew, who served as his uncle's muscle. He was also forced to portray a cowboy from Texas, which William says was not easy for him. Johnny Rod saw potential in William, which is why he had him progress so quickly to actual wrestling. WWE must have also saw that same potential, as in June of 2011, it was announced that William Morrissey had signed with Florida Championship Wrestling, WWE's developmental territory. Morrissey would make his first televised appearance not as a wrestler, but the Dean of the University of Florida. Presumably after training a bit more, Morrissey would make his televised debut as a wrestler on September 4th, 2011, under the name of Colin Cassidy. He would go up against Richie Steamboat, but lost via disqualification. Colin wouldn't have much success at first, as he continued to lose matches for the rest of 2011 as well as into 2012. In fact, he would finally score his first win in March of 2012, where he defeated Kenneth Cameron. He would wrestle his final match in FCW in July of 2012, where he defeated Aiden English. After that, FCW is rebranded to NXT. It's worth mentioning that when Enzo Amore was first brought in for training, Cassidy thought to himself, who the hell is this guy? He didn't take him seriously until they had promo class together. Yes, apparently that's a thing. And it was then Cassidy saw how good Enzo was on the mic. After realizing they had met in the past, the two became friends once again. Colin would be teamed up with guys like Alexander Rusev, Corey Graves, and even Eric Rowan, but none of those tag teams really worked. Though apparently there were some forces trying to keep them apart, Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy became a tag team soon after they debuted in NXT, and those two definitely worked well together. Now usually I'd continue covering a superstar's career up to the present date, but
But since Cass and Enzo have an almost identical story from here on out, I'd just be repeating everything I said from last week. If you haven't already seen that episode on Enzo Amore, be sure to check it out for not only his story, but a full breakdown of their combined careers as a tag team. Oh, and one more thing. Big Cass is in a serious relationship with Carmella, who he met when they worked together in NXT. And that was Wrestling Origins Big Cass. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for another episode every Friday. Also if I left anything out then let me know in the comments below and be sure to suggest superstars for future videos as well. As always thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.